As for the show, it aired on Nickelodeon Slam Block. What? You don't remember the classic block super large action madness? How could anyone forget a quote short lived extreme action slash adventure programming block airing Sundays at 4 to 6 p.m., from August 25th? 2002 to March of 2003 with Slam mainly consisting of American or Canadian animation with Speed Racer X being the only anime on its schedule. End quote. I mean, who could forget Slam when you had super duper sumos? Who needs world ending stakes and high octane, fast pace action with Dragon Ball when you can have sumo goodness? Here, let me give you a taste of the reheated 90s quote unquote edge that was Slam. Also the channel aired The Butt Ugly Martians, a show that, in my opinion makes SDS look like DBZ in comparison. But back to SDS proper. While I can't speak of the show's humor being particularly great, I will say that the show does have the occasional joke that lands here and there, and is on paper at least, a decent premise for an action cartoon. Is it super original? No but most things aren't when you get down to the nuts and bolts of their premises, I feel. After all, look at Power Rangers. The original Mighty Morphing crew were often described as Saved by the Bell meets Godzilla on a weekly TV show budget. And yet Power Rangers is at the time of this recording, going on nearly 30 years strong. Gee, it is almost as if it is the execution of the idea that matters more so than the basic idea itself, Weaker Power Rangers seasons notwithstanding. Besides, is the idea of superhuman sumo wrestlers fighting the forces of evil really that stupid? <coughs> Moving on. What then, is at the core of SDS as a show? It is, to paraphrase the words of its creator, a comedy. It is also, by its formulaic setup and general premise, also an action slash superhero show. Though of a more comic bent compared to the more purely action cartoons of the 80s and early 90s. Does it actually succeed in these aspects? Well, there is action, such as it is, and there are jokes, most of which are centered on the buttocks with, much better in my view, exceptions to the butt-based rule. But, pun unintended, I think it is best we look at two things that are what really sunk SDS overall as a show, the art style and the characters. Since the two are more or less intertwined in my view, I'll be covering both topics at the same time, jumping back and forth as we tackle. <laughs> 